Hello and welcome to HelpYourMath.com. We're going to talk about question 3 from the Math 206.5 final exam review. In question 3, it asks us to sketch a graph of the given angle and evaluate the value of the trigonometric function of the angle without using a calculator. So first, let's sketch a graph of negative 9 pi over 4. Because it's negative, that indicates we are moving in the clockwise direction in our, unit, in our coordinate plane. And the fact that it's 9 pi over 4, 9 pi over 4 is ever so slightly bigger than 8 pi over 4, which is significant because that is equivalent to 2 pi. So this is going to be one complete circle and then a little bit more to get us to that 9 pi over 4. So setting this up, I'm going to say that this angle is going to terminate. It's going to terminate in quadrant 4 because it is negative. And we're going to do a complete circle. So there's the, the 8 pi over 4, the negative 8 pi over 4, and then just a little bit more. Here's theta. What we might want to do to help us evaluate sine of negative 9 pi over 4 is determine the reference angle for theta. The reference angle, to find the reference angle, it's going to be the acute angle that's in between the terminal side of theta and the x-axis, which would be right here. We're going to call this guy theta hat. And theta hat, so if it's 9 pi over 4, or negative 9 pi over 4, theta hat is pi over 4. And it's going to be positive pi over 4 because it's an acute angle and negative measures are not acute. Okay, so why do we care about the reference angle? Because sine of theta is either going to equal exactly sine of the reference angle or it's going to be the negative. Because this terminates in quadrant 4, we know that sine of theta will be the negative of sine of our reference angle. So, And what is sine of theta hat? Sine of pi over 4 is the square root of 2 over 2, which means sine of theta, which is negative 9 pi over 4, will be negative root 2 over 2. So we have our sketch and we have our, we've evaluated for sine. How about our second example? We're looking for cotangent of negative 150 degrees. Because it's negative, again, we're moving clockwise. So we're going to go 150 degrees going clockwise. This is 0 degrees. Down here is negative 90 degrees. Over here is negative 180 degrees. Up here is negative 270 degrees. Negative 150 will be in between negative 90 and negative 180. And we're just going to go whoop. And so there's theta. What we might want to do is figure out the reference angle. The reference angle, again, is that acute angle that's in between the terminal side of theta and the x-axis. So here's theta hat. And let's see, this is negative 150 degrees. I should label. Um, what's the difference between negative 150 degrees and negative 180 degrees? That would be 30 degrees. So theta hat, our reference angle, is 30 degrees. We're in quadrant 3, and we are evaluating cotangent. Cotangent has the same sign as tangent, and in quadrant 3, tangent is positive. So that means that cotangent of negative 150 degrees will equal exactly what cotangent of 30 degrees is. What is cotangent of 30 degrees? Well, that would be degrees is the square root of 3, which means cotangent of negative 150 degrees is also the square root of 3. So this is also equal to the square root of 3. It's positive because it terminated in quadrant 3.